Hello! Today's video is about pointing PFSense towards a DNS server uh, for the purpose that when I have a regular user connected to a network, they're automatically getting an IP via DHCP, but they're also automatically getting a connection to the DNS server. So what we're going to what we're avoiding here is having to automatically set a DNS IP address in a regular workstation because this is just one machine but we may have hundreds of machines on this ne network and we don't want to go through every single workstation adding a DNS to it so we want the PFSense machine to do to do the work for that so what I'll do here is just do a quick quick drive by on some of the things that we're seeing here so that you can understand my lab environment here I've got I've got three three interfaces on my PFSense machine we've got a WAN that's connecting the PFSense to the internet. I've got a LAN network where my domain controller and my DNS server are residing. And I've got a third interface where my regular users are. And you can see that I've got a IP address um, for my domain controller, 1.108, and an IP address for my regular user, which is 2.15. All right, let's go over and take a look at uh, the regular machine so that you can see the what the end result should look like. Okay, so what we have here is a Windows 7 machine and it's it's the example that I'm using for my regular user. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly show you some settings inside of uh, this Windows 7 machine just to confirm that the this is what it should look like. So I want to just take a look at what the the domain is for this machine. Now as you can see I've successfully connected to the domain that I made 321.ca which is great. Also I've got a domain user of Bob. He's a user in my Active Directory so just another sh sign that it's connected. Let's go look at the network. And we're going to go to our local area connection. And if we take a look at this, this is what you want your regular users to be connecting with, right? I want the, the machine to be getting an IP address dynamically via DHCP, and I want them to obtain their DNS automatically. And so by default, we use uh, we point to Google, and we don't want that. We want to actually be resolving the IP addresses. We want to be resolving people's connections in our own infrastructure before it goes out to the internet. So, what in this video we're going to be, we're going to be connecting this machine to DNS. Another test I want to do is also open up our our command prompt. and validate that we're able to ping out to Google. So I'm able to ping. And we're going to test that we can resolve Google's name. Perfect. And it's working just the way we want it to. All right. Let's go over and take a look at our firewall rules. Okay, so I've opened up the domain controller here and I've connected to the internet or browser and I've logged on to my PFSense machine. The first thing we want to do is we want to look at our firewall rules. And the LAN is just is the default right now where it can connect to everything. The WAN is right, what you see right here. And where I've done some custom firewall rules is inside of the opt one where my regular users are going to be working from. So if we look down at these three rules here that are active, we can see that my regular user machine is able to connect to the DNS machine and log on with Active Directory. So we've got our opt one, everybody on the opt one network any source port, the destination as the LAN net, 
and I've got my domain ports here that I've I've chosen to to utilize. And then I go down to this second rule and everybody with the TCP UDP packets up one network any source uh, any destinations that's this is my internet internet rule I've got some ports here keep in mind that 53 is the the DNS and so we're going to be resolving so when traffic goes to the port 53 it's going to go to my DNS first and if we go down here basically this is just a rule for testing that I put in any ICMP anybody on this network can ping anywhere eh, just for testing purposes okay now let's go and take a look at some of the the specific configurations that we need to set in PFSense so that when traffic from a an, a network is automatically pointed towards our DNS server. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is head over to System and go to General Setup. Now in this in this this window, it's there's not much to change. Uh, we can leave that as PFSense as your host name. Set your domain correctly to whatever it is that you set your DNS to. For me, it's 321.ca. And then I want to point uh, everything to my DNS server. So 192.168.1.108. Okay. Put your IP address of your DNS server in there. And then scroll down, just double check everything is what you want it to be. And everything in here, honestly, other than those things that I showed you, are can be left as defaults, unless you want to make some custom changes to PFSense. So hit save, and then we're going to go over to the next section, which is our DNS resolver. And to get there, we go to services, and we go to DNS resolver. So here we are at the, the DNS resolver. As a, as a reminder, services, DNS resolver. Uh, once, you, once you get here, it's at this point that we're actually going to be pointing uh, traffic that goes to our PFSense machine, and we're going to be pointing it towards our DNS server. So this is a very important stage in the process. Uh, first things first, make sure to enable the DNS resolver. Uh, the default is port 53, so you can just leave that like that. We are going to leave these as default. Network info interfaces and outgoing network interfaces. Uh, the default is all, and it's fine right now to leave it like that. The, the only part that we are actually going to be changing is this part right here, other than turning it on, is the DNS query forwarding. This is a very important step. This is the switch that's saying, go to my, my DNS server instead of using this. So here we are, we're going to be setting, remember we set our IP address in the system in general setup. So as long as that's set up correctly and you've got the domain inside your, your system settings, uh, when traffic goes to this, uh, this PFSense machine, it's going to be directed towards your DNS server. Okay, so set that, save it. Uh, one key thing that you're going to have to remember and keep this in note is that Depending on how you've configured your DNS server, you are going to have to configure uh, forwarders on your DNS server. So for me, I'm, I'm directing it to uh, Google's uh, DNS servers. So everything's going to come to my DNS server, and then after that, it's going to go out to, out to Google. Okay, And you may have a different configuration for your settings. Let's just do an IP config over on our, our machine here. There we go. We can see that we're on the domain. We've been given an IP address. And if we go to this again, just as a reminder, we can see that we're automatically getting the DNS and our IP address. And that's the setting that we want to have. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed and look forward to many more videos. All right, bye.